also so I can include it in the late video that I'm working on. What's up, gang? That's Julia Schneezer. I recognize that Julia name. Julia That's a really cool name. All right, hold on. Hold on. Oh, boy, this is a disaster because it's all terrible. Let's see. Is this any better? Does this view look good? Oh, yeah, bae. I think it's fine. I think it looks good. Thank you for the 2,000 sparks, Julius, by the way. Oh, yeah, How, I do love that. Is, is this cool too meal. noisy? Is it noisy in the microphone? I'm telling you. With the, uh, with the, with the fan blowing. running. Yeah. Too much Vornado action going on. Let me put on You're my hot. phone quickly. I'm hot. Well, okay. Like, as in audio. Temperature. You're like, oh, I'm burning temperature up. Hot. It's a little warm in here. I do like your name. Slots. I like your name, Slots. Sleezer. <laughs> I think it sounds didn't okay. come out at, at all right. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so we're here on an historic day. You yes. Can, you can save all of that air for you. I'm not a, a bit cold. Uh, um, I've been sweating, sweating up here all day long. <laughs> that sounds I'm nasty also. I can't hear the us. fan in the... Oh, well, that means that my compressor is technically kind of working. I don't technically, know. You, you, you can of. buy, like, your fancy mixer boards that cost thousands and thousands of dollars that have noise reduction, noise gate, things like sure, that. Sure. But this one has a compressor, so that means that you can't really hear me right now, but if I bump that up, you can hear me really well. That's cool, Leo. Just that's cool. <laughs> I don't know how those things work. I just know that they do, and it's unfortunate that most of the people think that because I teach theater that I need to know. I'm not a tech. <laughs> well, you you know how to operate like that mixer board and I wait, know which on. button to push, what but that's about to, it. Oh, that looks bad on camera. I'm not going to do that. But um, we are on an historic day today, aren't we? Yes. Tell me about it. Well, the reason why this is historic, first of all, because we've launched people into space before. We have. The, the Russians. For exploration. Mm -hmm. th this is elite. I'm not that big into space, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's still interesting. And watching all this stuff reminded me of, like, elementary school when they were all like, ooh, look at these astronauts and stuff. So I thought that right. was pretty yes. cool. Reminded me of Star Wars and stuff. Sure. But, um,. For the longest time, they've been using the Russian space program to launch the, the astronauts on the International Space Station because in 2011, they stopped their funding for the space shuttle program for right. NASA. They right. didn't cut off NASA, but they, they stopped the space shuttle, mm -hmm. like the, I don't know what it's called. I think that's exactly what it was that's called. That's exactly what it was but, called. But um, they stopped that, apparently, because it was too expensive. But then SpaceX came along. They've actually been around for a while. You've probably heard of SpaceX before, but they came along and they developed these, I believe it's called the Falcon 9, which they've used it to launch cargo in the past, mm -hmm. like they've done a bunch of launches in the past, but right. this is the first time that they've actually launched humans into People. space. People! People! Yes. Which is really cool because... They're not astronauts. Mm-hmm. Well, no, they are well, astronauts. Okay. They're test this astronauts. Is, yeah, but this is not a... a um, governmental funded exploration yes, mm -hmm. this is a, a private, private company company mm -hmm. first yeah. of all it's private second of all it's reusable third of all it's inexpensive relatively inexpensive so that means that in order to get up there and to do more exploration that'd be a lot cheaper in the future well haven't they considered like travel as in um so use right <laughs> What's Soyuz? I don't know. Soyuz, right? Soyuz, right? I think. I hope I'm right. I don't know. Soyuz, right? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I think it means a lot. I think it means, um, you know, for the the whole concept of what the future holds for us. I think that's now just beginning to um, to come to some, at least, some fruition. You know, the whole. Um, flying cars, jetpacks, you know, that whole, oh, we'll have that by the year 1980, 1990, 2000, 2011, you know. Um, and by golly, I think the future is almost here. Hold on one second. I'm just tweeting out again. Oh, the Russian ships they were using previously called the oh the the sweet. I thought uh. because Mindtech said sup that you were doing that. 
Sort she, it out. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I, I am pretty ignorant when it comes to speech. But I still think that it's cool to, to witness history. I think it's making. cool that history was witnessed. Mm-hmm. I know that it came on the the hills you know, this a is fairly history. close to us, yeah, but it mm-hmm. came on the hills of, mm, are you sure you can do that from there? You know, mm-hmm. because it's like, it's not right down the block from us, but it's no, pretty close. They did this from Florida. Oh, this was Florida. Uh-huh. So it's the same as NASA, basically, right? I think so. Okay. And they actually partnered up with NASA to do it, but it was the SpaceX vehicle, which they were testing, which is okay. the, the big thing that's historical. Okay. But it, it was nice being able to witness that instead of witnessing the terrible history that's going on right now. Uh, I, I don't even want to talk about it. Talk like about it that. I was, can we show it? I mean, can we see the... Is it, I don't even want to show that up. No, the oh, broadcast the, oh, of yeah. the, the launch. Yes. We're getting close to no yes. battery, Bubby. Um, I'm I'm doing that intentionally because I wanted to drain this down for my video. I never got around to though, but now I'm doing it again. I think it's great to see something so inspiring. Glad to see space travel getting back on track. I know, exactly. isn't That's that neat? The, mm-hmm. I know it was it was really kind of almost a devastating blow, and you know, right in the gut when they said it's just far too expensive to get the space shuttle up in in air again. And I know that when they did put civilians on the space shuttle that was like for from at least from my generation that was like what this is happening and now this for your generation is so much closer because it's so much more affordable um of course the space shuttle was supposed to be safe and and uh, you know the first Challenges. unfortunately yeah the, and the that's first. what i know that when when we were watching this we were pretty worried because <laughs> you never know what's going to happen and it's it's obviously been tested, but it's never really been used before. This the SpaceX vehicle. And see, they're already here in space. And they're yes. Uh, the um. Let's see. I'm trying to find it. I don't know. It looks like they're doing their um, mm-hmm. social distancing. Oh, this is already T plus eleven. Okay, I don't like it. The- that last few minutes. Okay, last here minute it is. Especially. Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's slow this up. Let's let's try and experience. I I don't know if Julius. I don't know if you watched this live or if you didn't watch it live. But let's try and pretend that we're experiencing this again. And then they literally did the whole countdown. Hold on. Let me see. They don't look nervous at all, do they? Yeah, definitely the challenge. At, at this was. point, what would be going through your mind? Except what would, what would you be thinking? I'd be terribly scared though, like I couldn't I couldn't be an astronaut. Yeah, I remember. When somebody said this that is, and you were is, sitting in uh-huh. that seat, what this would is you when do? It got, got real. Yeah. Well I couldn't really do anything. I'd just have to be like, it's gonna happen. Nothing I can say on the street. <laughs> I I think that, you know, if it had been something that I had been training for all of my life, you know, people dream about being astronauts. Oh, here. And this is when I thought it was going to blow up, so. (laughs) I know, that's just. Oh my gosh, there it goes, guys. What? Look at this. It's launched. And that's history right there. That was history. But of course it's still stressful trying to see it do its thing because it got more dangerous after a while. And well, yeah. I mean, we watched so many implosions of, you know, the when they're, they were taking it from one end to the other to do what they called the hop or something like that. They were trying to do that, that hop where they could make it maneuver and, and we watch so many of them just like a tin can just like an aluminum can mm-hmm. just implode and that you know that I think, ah, don't do that <laughs> um that i think would be um when i'm sitting in that seat I, you you have yeah, to push what, all of those thoughts going, to the back of your mm-hmm. head but you know you have to say everything is going to be fine but you are never 100 percent certain of mm-hmm. that And the reason why I think that some people were afraid here is because if it would have been a failure, 
whenever you look at SpaceX, you think of that failure. You wouldn't think, oh, well, they've done a lot of, they've had better success than NASA. You wouldn't think that. You'd think, well, they killed two people. Yeah. Well, I know and the Challenger was just, it was just devastating. You know, it was one of those um, heart wrenching moments in American history. It was, you know, we went from elation to devastation, mm -hmm. you know, and it was, ah, the, you know, that was spectacular. That makes you, every time you watch it, it makes you, you know, it's like the landing on the moon. What? We did this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. One thing that blows my mind is the time between the first flight by the Wright brothers and landing on the moon 66 what? years. What? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. And then from from the landing on the moon till now, what is that? <laughs> that's if you a long tell time. me that's, that's thirty three like years, 50, I will freak out. No, that's like fifty some oh, years. Oh, fifty some years. years in the sixties, probably in almost sixty six years. I'll really freak out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that would. Be, I'd see. really, really freak out. Anyway. And this wasn't as big as, in my opinion, landing on the moon. Well, no, but, but it w it's still big for America, especially. Because we knew that we could achieve flight, you know, we knew that we could, you know, leave our atmosphere and go into orbit. We knew that we could do all of that already, but it is historic. I mean, it's it still very historic. Bob and um, Bob, my, Bob, but what does Bob it, and Doug. <laughs> Bob. Those are the names we're going to remember. Not okay. not by their last names, by their, Just their Bob first Bob and Doug. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so what does it mean for? space travel i mean not space exploration because that's what we we and what we funded nasa to do now what does this mean for space travel for you and for me i mean does it mean space travel like when you say it's affordable what do you mean i think that it will i guess it'll spark a lot more development into that field i think mm -hmm. that maybe more celebrities are gonna maybe <laughs> start maybe. going up I don't know. I know that there was one person that wanted to shoot a, a movie on the ISS, and that might be possible now. Might not just be for someone that's highly trained, because these rockets now, they can do it all automated. Like once they launch, once you get up into the atmosphere, it's basically all on the rocket, not necessarily all on the astronaut, which I think is also pretty interesting. So you just need to be trained for like entering zero G yes. or you just need to mm -hmm. be like physically fit mm -hmm. and then you're capable of travel so as long as you can pass like a, a calisthenics physical fitness sort of thing then you can travel and you probably space. have to do like some sort so of I'll never training get to go <laughs> no you probably have to do like some sort of physical <laughs> training to make sure that my heart you, won't you know <laughs> just like but that. you're also ready for like that change because I know that there's a a big change on you especially if you spend a lot of time up there well i wonder oh it does open up some barriers for privatizing mm -hmm. space for sure absolutely and i wonder i wonder what that you know because we've watched all of those you know you grew up watching star trek mm -hmm. and star wars and star yeah now it's literally going to be the star wars like star the, the instant the, the instant we did this they started talking about, oh, we're going to have the, the best space force available, then we're going to have military and blah, blah, blah. Well, and I wonder to what extent that would be. I know when we when we hear talk of that, you get these ideas in your head about what that is actually going to be, but those ideas are all manufactured. You know, those hey, Joe. Those ideas are all Hollywood. Hey, Do you missed it? We just redid the countdown. Mm -hmm. I did the countdown on Discord. No one was looking, but I was just like ten, nine. Eight. <laughs> I can't believe that it launched. In fact, I I didn't even tune in. I wish you'd have yelled down. I know I I set my watch, the timer on my watch, and then I processed meat for the freezer, and I took my watch off because I didn't want to get all schmutzy, and then my it didn't go off. But. It's twenty here. It's twenty. It's twenty. Okay. <laughs> But it's the weekend. You Europeans. Yeah, you, are, you are right. It's oh, the weekend. Man. But I have a lot of work to do because I still have to get a video. <laughs> Instead of making a video, I was watching streams at this launch and well, <coughs> launching up their streams. I'm glad that you did. You know, um... <coughs> now look, I'm streaming here. I think in the near future we will see more tourist space travel and traveling to mine resources. 
Definitely. I, I think that that's something that'll be a lot more accessible now because the the since it's not a government entity anymore doing that, since it's SpaceX, the same person that brought you Tesla, which is literally a travel company, mm -hmm. I think that that might be a more attractive and more feasible option now. I wonder what kind of resources we'd need. I know I'd heard a lot about um, if we could mine something, it would the equivalent of some, some sort of energy. It would be like just one small part would power like the world ten times better than our fossil fuels or mm -hmm. I'd heard something now you can't even begin to quote me on that because that's my feeble memory and one little clip and probably ten years ago mm -hmm. and but I do recall that there was some sort of something and I think it was within within our reach so I think it was like on our moon I think I think, I, I think I heard something about resources, like there are low quantity on Earth, but in space there's, there's they're very plentiful. There's vast amounts and plentiful, mm -hmm. and if we could figure out a way of, if we could of find, getting them yeah, getting them back in a feasible manner. If we could find bitcoins, bitcoins on the moon, kind of like how the moon is made of cheese, the center is just you know a big hard drive full of bitcoin <laughs> addresses, it's just a big bitcoin wallet. What's the um, rocket doing? It's going. It's no, there. It's see. on imagine, its way to mining, the space station. Imagine mining Bitcoin on a supercomputer. I'd be a millionaire. Actually, ah. what you need is an ASIC, which is kind of like a graphics card. It does that one function of trying to generate those values to mine the Bitcoin. And you not only need one ASIC, you need like a whole like data center full mm -hmm. of them. Because a lot of these big Bitcoin miners, like in China and stuff, that's what they have, and that's what they do. So it's so kind of terrible. When when um, it finally gets to the space station, which is where it's going, when it finally gets to the space station and um, deposits the crew there, what exactly is it going to do? I think well, I know that it has to like launch up to the ISS. I guess after that, they just go and do their mission. And, I don't know. Okay, but <laughs> is it something that like? Is it some something then that can wait for them so that they can make a return trip, or does it Ooh. is it automated enough to return on its own, or what does it what exactly does it I do? I guess that it would be kind of like the the thrusters or whatever disconnects when they do that first launch. Right. It probably would be something like that. I'm not sure. Kind of like how they always have the the camera at the the launch pad in the ocean, and then it rumbles so much that it goes offline and then it comes back perfect <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> that always that always surprises hmm. me. How it's so perfect. It's kinda like someone you know <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah. I, I think I think the camera goes offline because it's a lot of like this really heavy thing. Yeah, going I down. don't yeah I kinda don't like what happened to my cable right there. Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that it's a pretty pretty picture at all so let's see apparently there they have there have been hackers that have managed to fool bitcoin mining services to think it's mining loads of bitcoin when in fact it hasn't mined any oh my Lol. gosh no <laughs> rip f and shaft <laughs> isn't that gonna actually isn't that gonna like mess up the market and stuff because bitcoin is an actual currency that's kind of like yeah, that's kind of like forgery or something like oh, that. I was just going to say that, yeah. It's kind of like overloading the market. Mm -hmm. hmm. You're just like, hmm, how much Bitcoin today? 20,000 trillion. I don't know, this but I'm, terrible, I'm telling you, I feel like I need to start investing in some stocks. I know, because when they if they rebound I'm, I'm pretty sure they will rebound then i need to go back to to julius's comment in near future we're going to see tourist based travel mm -hmm. and traveling to mine resources and i see stocks in that right there that's what i see you're so. gonna like like the lunar cafe or something where you have your moon cheese and <laughs>
What? Yeah, just You're imagine. You're brilliant. But but then it's gonna be terrible up on the moon. Like no one's. It's gonna be like the beach that's all great, and then all the hotels move in, and all the beach. Yeah, yeah. Shore is is just a bunch of yeah, buildings yeah. all over. Yeah. Oh. No one wants that. Nobody wants that. Like if you want to look at the moon, it has to be like the the virgin moon with just the the little flag and stuff. Maybe if you had like a an encampment like a research encampment or something where you have this nice cozy like life pod you'd really have to think that because i know um there were a lot of ray bradbury ideas floating around in my head there for a second well yeah maybe like i think lunar cafe would be a good one like a uh -huh. gift shop uh -huh. maybe if you'd have a a no gravity swimming pool i don't know <laughs> i just see all of these hexagonal bubble with i just see the the mini mile high club i don't know i just i see it all in my head i see it all and i'm really thinking that would be cool mm -hmm. i'm amazed i'm just i'm glad that it worked i know that yesterday when they scrubbed it i thought Something's not right here. Here's the weather. That's why they scrubbed it. Mm -hmm. But I was worried for the day. I didn't know if it was going to happen or not. Coca-Cola stocks have gone up 10%. Yeah. Think about it. Everyone's at home drinking their Coke. <laughs> Elon Musk apparently reopened his factories. Yes, he did. He was really angry because he was like, we can't just shut all this down. I have to do my productive. <laughs> why did he shut them down in the first place? Because of the coronavirus? Yes. Oh, oh, so I see. So he, he kind of basically just said, eh, screw the, <laughs> screw the orders. You're all coming back to work. But they were, you know, social distancing in the control room and stuff. I'm not sure about the factories. Let's see. So he, he reopened the factories in case the SpaceX rocket failed and exploded so he wouldn't <laughs> sell his money. Oh. He sued the law. He sued the law. He's just law like, law. you know, the law sue you. Ah. Sue you! Instead of I screw you, now it's sue you. I fought the law and the law one. I fought the law and the law one. He's a lawyer. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think that he probably felt like it was time to... I, hey, thank you, Hammerhead, I'm, for the follow. The law didn't sue him. He sued the law! Okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> I, I, I am, um, jeez Louise, I lost my thought. Huh. Let's talk about Space Age Vornado fans, how about that? No, we Ooh. don't have to talk about Space Age Vornado fans, because the life of George Jetson, I think, is within our grasp. And that's that's what's kind of cool about this whole thing. You I know, don't, I, I don't uh, think a lot of people, you know... I think they just think it's a regular SpaceX launch, like I don't care about the regular launches. It's like, oh, if it blows up, who cares? But this one, this one's pretty cool. This one is pretty because cool. Because it really opens up a lot of doors. And now it says to, even like the president, the president's now like, well, look at all these opportunities that we have now. Well, yeah, because he had this whole, you know, space, you know where he was starting his little mm -hmm. Star Wars program and not Star Wars from the 80s program but Star Wars from like Star Wars mm -hmm. so um, hopefully it doesn't become all man it's a reality I mean that's something that we can now say hmm. and I you know what do we think about that do we think that we need to now you know man space and be all uh, because you're, you know, I think that, that Julius is right. You've got some privatization issues. You've got, you know, this is my space and you can't cross it. And and all of that sort of thing that you now need to consider. Mm -hmm. What is it? What's going to happen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I don't know, but I just, I, I really want to be able to forecast what stocks I need to buy so that I can be the next Dell computer. ka -ching! winner i just want to be that guy i That's wish that it. i would have been the guy that would have bought the google domain like no. oh <laughs> the my gosh yeah I mean, not the google domain but you like know, microsoft or coca-cola or something like that your dad is such a visionary because he actually thought about doing that and i'm like you're crazy you know <laughs> just 
dumb. <laughs> but he man, yeah, what like, would have happened? We would have been rich we, right now. Just yeah, just we nope, we own that dot com. You know, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to pay us. It, and they'd probably do. be mad about it. You'd probably have to talk to lawyers, but eventually they'd probably well, they, settle for like a dot, few million. Because dot know. com wasn't it wasn't that thing yet. You know, nobody did the whole internet. Mm -hmm. It was just beginning. It was just bad baby. But I know that he had like this. He had a really, I guess, new style of browser that he developed back in the nineties. A hundred fifty to buy a domain I privated on GoDaddy. See. It happens. People do that. Mm -hmm. I need to but, think about that. I mean, if the... we would have done Coca Cola or PepsiCo, whew, yeah. whew. And I know, um, yeah, I've had uncles that just were visionaries about things like that who bought maybe stock we at should, the right maybe time. Maybe we should start, you know, buying all like the, the loan or whatever domains. Like, try and think what they named the company in 30, 40, 50 years. Right. And then I'd make it big, you know. <laughs> You'd make it big, and I'd be dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, I guess I could die happy, huh? Yep, Just you could knowing. die happy knowing that I'm going to make it, hopefully make it big. Either that or it's going to be like a, an expensive domain that's not going to pay out. Oh, I'm pretty sure Is that. Is like lunar I happy? don't know if you're going to make it, quote unquote, big financially, but I know you're going to make it big, you know, in whatever it is that you choose to do because... Lunar when you say Lunar com. Cafe, what the heck are you talking about? I thought you were talking about, hey, if people are traveling, we better start a Lunar Cafe. I thought you were just talking about a truck stop along the way. <laughs> no, I, I was talking about like the actual cafe I on the moon. Biscotti. You know, you gotta, you gotta get your, your floating coffee and stuff. Well, your floating fraps. But what was that Lunar Cafe that you were showing then? You paid only one pound for storieslide.com and storieslide.co.uk for 10 years. And speaking of Storieslide, this video is sponsored by Storieslide, so it make sure is. to check it out Isn't in the it? link in the video description you really below. Need to. It is an awesome website, it's an awesome platform where creators can be featured. Not the big guys, not the booty buys, not the boogie 2988. You got the, the people that are up and coming, the people that don't really get mentioned anywhere else. This is a hub for that to happen. You bring your mentionables there. And for mentionables, you, not your unmentionables. And for you, the consumer, make sure to check it out to find out the new guys. Find out the new PewDiePies. The people Ooh. that are going to take it over someday. So Ooh. you can brag about being you don't think the first that subscriber. Is going to be like at, at age 70 still doing what he does? He's already like taking a break and stuff. Oh, is he? So well, I suppose once you've made it, you don't have to continue to keep making it. You yeah, shameless don't. plug. This video is brought to you by <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends. I played it for ten oh. years. Ten years. And when I find you, yeah, I always cringe. I'm gonna when... kill you. Ooh, my my teacher just posted a new announcement. She said, "Hello, seniors." What? <laughs> Hope you have a great summer. <laughs> <laughs> because it is still it is which, like which teacher did that for you your chemistry teacher oh your math yes. teacher how sweet i hope that your math teacher remains your math teacher hopefully she's thinking about me the most i wow. think and if you if you're a member of my school oh my god why is this the freeze free <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> you guys gotta see this. Hold on. <laughs> gotta subscribe. If if you don't want to follow for nothing, look at this. Look at that. What was I saying? <laughs> what, the, what was I even saying? I, I don't, don't get you. Oh Lord! I never thought how you guys can just freeze frame every little thing, and now I'm nervous. My, nervous, nervous. Oh wait, hold on! I got another thing. Ooh, he! I got a comment. Let's see. Oh, it, it's on a video that I was really proud of and hasn't gotten a ton of traction. Um, thanks for the view. Does it really have Bluetooth 5.0? I'd have to check on that. Hmm. <laughs> a lot of the uh, like, if you guys ask me questions in the comment section, 
most of the time I'm just googling it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. A lot of the time I, well, with some of these things, I actually spend hours trying to replicate the problem and finding the best solution. That's actually how my Epicam video was born, my second one. Check that out also. You need but, um, to check that one out. Let's That's see. A, an excellent video. My friend so what has, is this video that you're talking about? Um, well, it's about using a DSLR as a webcam. I'm going to talk about this issue right here. I want it to happen so I can use this oh, clip in the, because this. I replicated it kind of in a, a non-streaming environment, but this is a real streaming environment. Well, and also we this problem right here and well, this here issue. We go. Well, but here we um, go. my friend has an ad up at the moment and he says I can use it and change all the... Oh, oh crap. man, uh, there it goes. Yeah. So I have to go over here and press the button. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. See now, now the uh -oh. battery's dead. Uh -oh. Because if I press that button, it's not switching over. Nope. So, there you go. Yeah, I'm hopefully this new battery is a bit better. Uh, oh, we've got to charge around. in it. Oh Lord. Put can they still in. hear us? Yes. Y'all okay. can still hear us. All fumbling poop in here. All right. Ay ay ay. Now it's back in, and we're online. But now I have oh, to adjust Lord. the focus. But it's all not all messed up. And there you need go. to plug this there we go. to that little Boom. yellow thing no, down there. That crocodile. No, you don't want to see under my desk. Like, mm. normally it's bad, but... No, it's not a crocodile. It's an octopus. <laughs> it's pretty bad right now. I'm actually embarrassed, to be honest. Well, it's, it's just a temporary mm -hmm. thing. I'm do telling you, you, you I like don't it? think your desk is ever going to get made. It feels like it, doesn't it? But do you, do you like this space at all? Do you think that I've made it look pretty enough back there? Well, no. Well, it's no. kind of ugly. <laughs> you haven't. Let's be honest. I think that if it's you not flip like... it, it would be better because it's... then you get to see the the bookshelves at least. Yeah, but you, yeah, this see, is what I'm going to be doing in the that's, future. That's nice. Stop no. and scream. Lord help that's you. So... Oh, no. I need to stop doing that because yes. that looks pretty terrible. Yeah. No, I guess I want to... This is this is actually how I normally am in bed, but not, not at my yes. Looking at my phone. You're looking at your phone. Where are we all this time? book. This yeah. video is also sponsored by George Orwell. Is it mm -hmm. Orwell? The the creator Leanne. of Animal Orwell, Farm. Orwell, Leanne. Yeah, that was a great book. It was one of my favorite books. Yes. I think one of my top Good read. ten. Good read. You should books. read Animal. It's not about well, actually, it is about an animal farm, but. It's not about what you think it'd be about. It, it looks like a boring a book fable. also, but it's a good book, so yeah. you should read it. Um, speaking of education and of teachers, um, have you heard from your professor of that class that's Ooh, starting yeah. on Monday? College class starting College in two class days. Starting on Haven't even gotten a syllabus. No syllabi, no yeah. book, mm -hmm. no meeting you know what? time. I'll check live. Well, I, you do have I'm a meeting time, them. right? You do know when you meet, right? Mm -hmm. But do you have any information about how to even log into his Google Classroom? My, Does my he have a Google Classroom? My counselor says that I need to check the Blackboard. What blackboard? How do you even know? That's going to be available on June the 1st. Oh. Let's see. I, we're doing this live. It scares me. Is this going to... No. Uh, 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 oh, oh, we got in. Good, we, we got, got in. in. That's, that's a brilliant move. Office of the President. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to my... Oh, count, but why don't you go to Blackboard if she's told you to go to Blackboard? Well, I'll, I'll show you. There's nothing available here just yet. Oh, for pity's sake. So she's she's thinking that on Monday there'll be something there for you? Do you guys use Blackboard in the UK or do you use, like, the the Queen's Tea LMS or something like that? I mean. <laughs> LMS? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> No, Why would they call a services. learning platform the Queen's Tea? <laughs> what was that? Okay. Personal information. Complete the survey. Do I have my schedule here? Do you phone craft? Do you emergency craft? Student survey. I don't think you're going to find anything. Okay, well, let me just check my email. 
How about the email? My Office 3... I'm pretty sure you guys use Office 365 in the okay. lands not down under. What the, the land across the pond, I guess that's what people call the UK. The island. The island. Okay, go to Outlook. Do you think that's gonna be there? Do you think I'm gonna have a nice looking syllabus? Let's see. No, 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 no. Ah. No syllabus. Nothing from him, huh? Nothing at all. Perhaps he's thinking Sunday will be fine. He'll just get he's us. He's probably on thinking. Sunday. Actually, it'll probably be like. He said F and chat. Yes, F and chat. It's probably going to be. Oh, hey, <laughs> work to live seventy five also gave us an F. No, oh. it's gonna be okay because like. Did we I, fail? Is that what that means? No, that means F to pay respects. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, but. Jeez, you guys have a language that's completely not mine. What we're you? gonna what we're gonna have to do? Yeah, so on Monday I'll lock on and I'll have the syllabus there on Blackboard. Okay. I'm pretty sure the professor won't have stuff due like instantly. Like we'll, we'll have time to get the textbook and everything like that. Okay. I'm telling you, I know, but that just on. made you nervous, and I didn't mean to make you nervous, on, but I'm you. telling no, you, we've had a textbook. revolutionary day today, an absolutely oh, yeah, revolutionary definitely. day today, I, and I am, happy. Like, I, was pretty sad about I am excited the for the world. Only true gamers understand, understand F to pay respects, all 2000s kids. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that makes me cringe. Whatever. That's serious. <laughs> Is cringe. that my age right cringe. there? <laughs> um, SpaceX was cool as frick. It, it was. was. <laughs> I, it, I was nervous. Like, I did not want to see Elon have to. <laughs> I didn't want to see this. I did not. And I did not want to see this. <laughs> and okay. Even, and even once it launched. It went up. It still could have gone boom. So, because that's what happened with the Challenger, I'm pretty sure. So, 1975. If you would have been sitting in that seat, staring up and hearing T minus 30 seconds and counting, what would have been going through your head? I mean, what would you have been thinking at that moment? Because I don't know what I would have been thinking. It, I, I've never had any aspirations of space. But I'm telling you, there have been some pretty terrifying things that have happened. And I just wonder, I just wonder, what would you have been thinking at that moment? 10, 9, 8, that's, that's crazy. 7. Yeah, I know. I actually, I was, mm. I'm a lot older than you. So mm. I was, I was you know in my I, I was an adult when that happened and my heart broke it was just like elated crushed and I didn't want to see that I just mm -hmm. didn't want to see that and it didn't happen my dad watched the first moon launch of Apollo 11 see that that's cool I didn't watch the first moon launch you would have been like three I would have not even been alive no it was Oh, we're trying to not show your age. Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> they launched in 69, right? 1969? Uh, perhaps. I don't know. Nice. I was I young. Tough I was, times. I was a baby. Yeah, re really tough times. That was And I tell thing. you, um, I don't know if Julius is still online, but he said that it was 66 years from the first man flight. Okay, wait, hold on. The Orville. Let me see here, so... Uh, we have the to class, the current schedule, so sex, section, section details, let's see, Rooms, lecture, okay, um, hmm. hmm, generate schedules, hmm. okay, current schedule, alright, let's see, can I view more information about said class, hmm, Hmm. I, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, one small. And this was this wasn't a step at all, but this How was many, a big explosion can, for can United I, States. Can I ask if you would do the the calculation for me from the moon landing, the first moon landing, to today? How many years? It's in 1969, right? 
Well, let's type in the first moon landing. Alright, let's see. First moon landing. Because I don't think it was 69. Was on July the 20th, 1969. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Alright, so 2020 minus 1969, 51 years. 51 years. So Orville, so when did Orville, uh, Orville, Orville and Wilbur Wright take flight? First flight, 1903. 1903 minus 1969. It would be 66 years. 66 years, and then it's 51 years from the moon landing mm -hmm. to to today. Today. But you see, I don't even remember like July the twentieth. But I'm gonna remember I, May the thirtieth. I would have loved it to be like how fifty five years. I would have loved for it to be sixty nine, keeping it sixty nine. Sixty six years. And see, my dad still has a recording of the original years. moon landing and launch. That's that's cool. That is cool. I um. What is it on like a Betamax or something? It's probably on VHS. I was a little embarrassed and a bit confused when I heard, and I don't know, it's probably fake news. Some guy say we've lost the technology to go to the moon, and I'm like, you what? <laughs> what? Yeah. How do you do that? They're still, they're still <laughs> hoping. They're like, well, hopefully we can get to the moon hopefully sometime. We'll be able to go back again. I'm like, what? <laughs> We've lost that technology. <laughs> so you well, can, all the advances yeah, that we you, made. you literally have the most advanced rocket, and and we can't go to the moon. It's no. like I didn't get it. I know why can't we put a little like speed? Why can't we put a Tesla on the moon? Like there we come go. on, we could put a Tesla on or the like moon. a life size figure of Elon Musk <laughs> just leave him <laughs> there on the moon. <laughs> why can't we do that? <laughs> come on. I don't know, but anyway, I am ready for Sapa. We're having Damn. Vina. No, we're having Vina Snitch. Vina Snitch. We're having Vina Snitch. We sent a Tesla to orbit. That'd be like a viral YouTube video like, oh, I sent a Tesla to orbit. I think that that's what my cafe is and all it would be called. My Lunar Cafe where I serve my oh. biscotti. No, literally, it'd be called, oh, you know, Tesla. And then it'd just be a balloon with a, a model Tesla in it. Ah! You'd be like, ooh, that's actually a good idea, yeah, isn't it? It's a good idea. You get a, a bunch of X. hate. You get a bunch of hate. Put a big old X on it. Hopefully, YouTube would remove the video, but you you, you want to do that, Joe? Click, 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 click. Oh, click, there, click. there's a video. Hopefully, this is good. Do not recast me. Not good. Okay, good. Right. Motorized combo lock cracking device. I have no idea. So, is this like for? Hmm, what is this? Oh, it's for like locker locks. Got some CAD in there. Nice auto CAD. 3D printing. An Arduino. That looks pretty cool. Oh, it's what an AI could do. That's what an AI. You know, there's one topic that the 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 guys over on Tech Talk were talking about today. It's related to, you know, upload to the series that we started watching and we stopped watching. Yes. We literally only watched it because it was in 4K, but it's on Amazon Prime. And it's about, mm -hmm. like, if your whole mind was kind of put uploaded. into a, an AI, basically, right. like the Matrix. It's, an, it's a really interesting concept. But what they were really talking about was kind of like having an actual AI, like, not the, the person, like, your... I can't speak. The tech. I can't speak the tech. right now. Not having like a full replication of your personality, like the person, but just having a computer using the voice samples from like a, a dead daughter or a dead child. And it was about this mother who had this VR experience talking to her dead daughter. And they brought up some interesting points because it can be good for therapy. But what if you get too intertwined into that reality or that fake reality, that virtual reality? What if you start thinking that that's the real reality? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a mind twister, honestly. I, yeah, but, I would say perhaps if you needed to say a last goodbye and you recognize the fact that it was that last goodbye so that you'd had have your closure, but if it became part of 
your inability mm -hmm. to accept the fact yeah, you never that really this has happened and you could cling to the idea that this was still a reality, I think that would be very psychologically damaging. Yeah. You'd have to have new therapy to cope with the therapy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, because you could say, no, she's not, she's not, she's not. No, I but will not accept that, accept that, accept that. I was listening to Steve Wozniak talk about AI a bit, and he's like, we don't have AI yet because computers can't feel. They don't have empathy, and they don't have that, that creativity that humans actually have. They're good at solving problems. They're a lot better, actually, than humans at solving problems, even with this AI technology like the one that Joe showed us. But to have a true AI, you really have to have something a lot more personal. Because intelligence is emotional as mm -hmm. well as... Yeah, and, and I know as, I, a, as an educator, I work on um, emotional intelligence, and I really feel like I'm getting drummed out of education because I teach the fine arts, and I think that people have people as in like society has decided that the core is so much more relevant than the arts and the arts teaches emotional intelligence the mm. core can teach emotional intelligence but they don't have time they're too busy teaching the core <laughs> you know and i honestly want to say that i would want to see an ai before i die and be able to replicate a human be able to actually be like a regular feel person love and feel. but i also want to say that that's not a good idea and we should really avoid that because if they can learn and if they can think just like a human can then then you have the the fear of oh god they're gonna take over the world but because they can do anything they mm -hmm. are strong they are smart they are not gonna well they're gonna break down eventually but would they have the concept of death? Mm -hmm. Because if they all felt emotion, is, would they all have that the concept is really Or is emotion the one thing that, that um, makes them invincible? The lack of emotion makes them invincible and, because and they don't do feel you, that way. And then, and then you've got the whole Vulcan, you know, that whole Vulcan mind, you know, we are, we are devoid of emotion. You mm -hmm. know, not that we can't feel emotion, but emotion is irrelevant and then you have that whole idea of well, how do you teach an ai emotion because a lot of that is can. derived from a person's culture yeah i don't think and so. they're they're brought up they don't have a mother they don't have a father they don't have a, a group that they fit into but i suppose that that's what you'd have to do not that you're manufacturing they, it but mm -hmm. that you're you're replicating what that gives to you would you they know? literally develop their Maybe own culture. culture like well, a robot culture robot of bits and by a culture of bits and bites well and then, the void of emotion yeah and then you know just as i started the stream talking about the the future of mm -hmm. space travel being something that you know hollywood has manufactured for us you know so our ideas of that grandeur come from somebody else and not ourselves you're doing that to me again i mean hollywood has already manufactured for me what um what that would be like in so many different movies and what that would would mean so and joe brought up another good point he said ai surgery robots okay that's not the right good point they do if i give them properties and rules in a virtual world mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and people can make back doors into the system right and then and i think that's already happened like where these ai started talking about like oh, we're going to take over the humans or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, AIs that exist today, I'm pretty sure that that was because someone injected code, like, take over humans, die, kill, whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's what they repeated. But obviously, they can't do any physical action. But All they can do like is, the is think law about... But of something from some Isaac body? Asimov, I Isaac think. Isaac Asimov's but third law of something. But really, really, if these AIs are literally just a program running on a computer... There's nothing that they can do besides have terrible, horrible thoughts about mm -hmm. taking over the world. But that's it. It's just a thought. It's just data stored you know, on a hard we, drive. We just Still. started rewatching Alias. Well, actually, not even rewatch. You're just watching Alias. Wait, are you so, rewatching it? Well, I know I saw, I think, like two seasons of it. But um, okay. I know that we just watched one about a gentleman whose mind had been washed brainwashed mm -hmm. and a certain hue was given so why can't we do that with our robot friends we could but friends 
But I think that um, friends, because it is nice to think about the robots being able to do the dishes and walk the dog and stuff. But it's like Me, George Jetson. But once you once you have that, once you have a robot doing that, what kind of accountability do they have to have? What well, what happens then? <laughs> well, then then you you get into. Um, Overwrite the components and people could reverse engineer the AIs to kill humans. You could have it like, you know, self to like blow the capacitors whenever someone walks by, just, mm, I'm going to do the means. <laughs> and and that, now you're talking Hollywood's, well, it's Disney's. Um, who was the robot in Disney? Oh my gosh. Maybe and all of the, a song? Or? No, no. Who was the robot in Disney? Was the he was Wally. left all alone? Wally. 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 Yes. And I I loved Wally. That was one of my favorite shows. And um, yeah, the humans had didn't have to do anything. They just sat around and got fat, incapable of anything, because the robots did it all until. The robots didn't want to do it anymore. So, hmm, interesting. Anyway, guys, I think that that's probably it for us tonight. Don't you suppose? When do you think the dinner is going to be ready? I hope soon because I really wanted to eat when you came down and said, We need to stream. It's historic. And okay. I said, Okay, we do. Do you, hmm. because I was thinking about maybe you could go down and I could maybe transition this one over to a gaming stream for a little bit. If you would like to game, you are welcome to game. I just want you to like allow me to get up in my pajama pants oh, okay, without okay, our, sure. our oh, audience seeing Hold me. on one second. So uh, we're going to transition over this stream. So Oh, I think our one viewer will be right back. Yes. So maybe I can.